I said, this is all about financial planning. All right? And financial planning today has been bastardized. Mm -hmm. Big time. It's become all about investments and everything else. But what is financial planning? Planning about finance. Helping <laughs> <laughs> people save, spend, and invest. You were reading. Yeah. <laughs> If you want to go to that, Jeremy, was okay. Lauren Dutton, who, the father of financial planning, the guy that created financial planning, and so forth. You know, and after that, you know, Jack Dodd and then Morrow and all these other people. But he, uh, uh, Lauren said, it's helping average people, middle America, middle income people, to learn how to spend, save, invest, insure, and plan wisely for the future to achieve financial independence. Now, unfortunately, most financial planners just do this one thing, don't they? All right? And that's not financial planning. And that's what the, the role of, of uh, the registered financial consultants and what I've done, uh, and we just happen to combine and, and work together. Uh, but to, learn, to do all of it and to teach agents all of it, because we got some serious problems in Canada, yeah. and in the United States, and all over the world. People aren't saving the way they should be. They're too much in debt. They're trying to live, you know, a lifestyle that is beyond what they really need. Think about it. You know, how old are you, uh, CC? 49. 49. All right. 30 years ago, what was the average size of a home? Meaning family or no, size of the house? No, size of the house. Maybe 14,000, 14, 14, yeah. No, I mean, well, about 1,400 square 14, feet. 1,500 square feet. Yeah. What's the average size of the house today? 20,000. Yeah. Right. Now, what was the average size of the family back 30 years ago? This is bigger, I think. Yeah. Five. Five, six people. And today, what's the average size? Three. Two and a half. Three. <laughs> you know, I mean, come on. We've blown everything out of proportion. Everything has become lived for today. The great American dream or the great Canadian dream. You know, it's, we are trying to live be well beyond our means. Anything we want, we want it right now. And it's causing us some great problems. And we've got to change that. I mean, there's no question, is there any question in your mind? All right, and that's what my whole thing here is, to really help people establish their priorities. You know, so that they're spending wisely. They're protecting their families. Now, I don't know what the ratio is in Canada, and I should have looked it up. But I know in the United States right now, 50% of the people are, know that they're dramatically underinsured. 35% of the people don't have any insurance at all. Life insurance I'm talking about. Think about that. And by the way, 50% understand that they are underinsured and say they're going to buy it. But nobody's out there helping them to buy it. When really we have about 90% of the population that's underinsured. Okay? And so we need to be helping these people and helping them plan wisely for the future. I mean, we got all these baby boomers that are starting to retire or getting to a retirement age, but can they retire today? Huh? You know, so we've got to just start helping these people. And if we don't do it, and I say we as financial services professionals, who else is going to do it? Is there anybody else to do it? No. I can't think of anybody. But the financial advisors are doing the wrong thing. When they sell insurance, they ask the clients, how much can you afford? 
fifty dollars, yeah. then they prepare an illustration based That's on right. fifty dollars a month. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how to to help people establish their own priorities. And it's all about asking questions, and we'll get into that some more. And one thing I want to add to that, even though they're only can spend fifty dollars, is it better to have some or none? So I can't I can't knock people for doing it that way. Yeah. It's better to do it. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, and, and, and you're going to hear what I'm going to say <laughs> later is you make them a client first. It's much easier to sell a client than it is a prospect. So if that's what you got to do to make them a client, you do that, and now you can drip on them, do all the things you can to help them move to the next level.